Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Four more um, duels to go. We're going to start with Clash of the Emperors. Let's do this. All seven Baryan Emperors appeared in human form. Shark, what are you doing with the Baryans? Shark, it's been a long time since anyone called me by that name. But I'm not Shark or Reginald anymore. My name is Nash. Nash the Baryan. Go Baryan Battle Morph. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. Shark is a Baryan. We are the seven Baryan Emperors. Mizar, the one true Galaxy Eyes Master. Gurig, the ultimate Baryan Warrior. Alito, the Baryan who battles with Fists of Fury. Vector, need I say more. Marin, the name that brings chills to everyone's heart. Is that his sister? Duman, my faithful friend, but your greatest enemy. And I am Nash, leader of the seven Baryan Emperors. I can't believe Shark is the leader of the Baryans. The Baryan Emperors then defeated Trey, Quatra, and Quinto in separate duels. Astral spoke with Yuma on how to battle the Baryans. Instead of fighting the seven Baryan Emperors, let's eliminate the Source and defeat Don Thousand instead. Don Thousand is the great Baryan deity I defeated long ago, but he must, be, he must have resurrected, for only his great power could cause this much destruction. Let's go to Baryan World and defeat him. So Yuma, Astral, and friends traveled in the airship. What what were the Baryan Emperors doing? They just let them go? So Yuma, Astral, and friends traveled to the, in the airship to Baryan World. Meanwhile, Vector began absorbing all of the Baryan Emperors at the command of Don Thousand. Marin, Alito, Girig, and Dumont already fell to him. Vector now set his sights on Nash. I've been waiting for you, Nash. Vector, you'll pay for the pain you caused Marin and Dumont. And let me guess, you're going to be the one to make me pay. Oh, I'm so terrified. You should be. Temper, temper. You have serious anger issues, don't you? You think this is funny? Yes, because it's hard to take you seriously. But since you're not amused by my razor-sharp wit, let's skip to the part where I finish you. So I... So wait, now I'm playing as the bad guy? I'm playing as Nash. Okay. Against Vector's cheesy deck. So what deck do I get with Nash now? Do I still get a shark? Or no? Well, this was a turn of events I did not see coming. It appears I still get his sharks. Oh, good. You know, whoop de doo we get a 2200 dropped on us. Card can I... Oh, let's take out his card. MST? Okay, when this card is face up on the field, it cannot be tributed. If the card is normal or flip summon, change the, this card to defense position. Once the return, you can discard one spell card, special summon one level four monster from your deck, but that monster cannot attack this turn. Well, it just it just so happens. Target one number. No, I don't need that. Um. Can I really do this? Is this really gonna work? Oh my gosh, this is really gonna work. Please tell me you have another Summoner Monk in your uh, deck, please, buddy. No, you don't. Alright, well, this works. What can I overlay now? Oh, I guess we're going into a uh, Silent Honor arc. On this card, then target one special summon monster your opponent controls and face up attack. Attach it to this card as a face-up XZ's material. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this face-up card would be destroyed, you can detach one XZ's material monster instead. I should have done the two summoner monks. What am I smoking? What am I smoking? Alright, well, this works. I'll take my 3100 attack points, destroy your monster. Alright, Vector, you're in a hole now, buddy. You are in a hole. Oh, Umbral Horror. Okay, we're just dropping Umbrals left and right, and this dude's overlaying. Oh, into Ragna Zero. Oh, god, dude. 
sick of these Xyz monsters. Hot and suck you. Ha ha ha! Oh my gosh, what is going on? The heck? Ragna Ragna Affinity? What the heck am I dueling against? Well, that that's that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the hot GG. Oh well, that he hit me with the hot GG. I can't even do anything, dude. That's the hot. That's the hot GG. That is the hot quick GG. Uh, now I get to come back with my deck. So you know, you get a chance to pummel me with the deck the game sticks you with, and then. I get to retaliate with my custom deck. I am going to make some custom decks. Maybe I'll do some showcases or something with them. Uh, but I am going to do a few custom decks. i um, going to do a Harpies deck. going to do, you know, the deck I have right now. I need to do a Blue Eyes deck. Um, what else? Elemental Hero deck. Uh, this is a horrible hand. Well, it's, okay. It's not horrible. It's just not that good. Okay, that's better. Okay. Let's do this. Now. I'm just gonna set all my cards down. And I'm gonna risk the attack. And of course, rush recklessly. Are you kidding me? Oh well, I've got I've got world beaters on my side of the field. Yeah, just keep playing your monsters, whatever you want, bro. Whatever you want. Say goodbye to both your monsters. Nope. How do you those? Yeah, go ahead and play your call the haunted. This is it's just gotta suck to get just absolutely reamed on your turn. <laughs> 1900 damage, destroyed your monsters once, but now I need to draw something. Oh, beautiful, thank you, skilled dark magician. Yep, now say goodbye to your monster. So ridiculous. I just have so many cards that just destroy monsters in my deck, it's just, it's almost, it's, it's almost unfair against these computer decks, it's really almost unfair. Until, you know, he drops that on me. Come on, good draw to good draw. Oh, okay, not great. I don't even think that can help me. We'll see. Um, let's go with this. And... Okay. Twelve cards in their hand. You do. He does have more cards in his hand than I do. This is crazy that I'm managing to somehow stay alive with the cards. Like, the destroying cards are great, but they're not really my point of this deck. They're really to do this to keep me alive. I'm gonna send Magician to Valkyria, because if I can bring a card back, I want to bring her back. Oh, I can attack the turn I did that? Oh, that is just... Oh, it does no damage, probably. But I was gonna say, that's the ultimate cheese. You can just blow up the field. But no, he takes no damage. That was it. I thought he couldn't attack. It's the same... It's the same difference, I guess. Oh, well, I guess you can destroy monsters. This is just some crap I don't want going on in my hand. This is not a good hand. I don't want two Dark Magicians. I need to draw an Ancient Rules or something. Actually, all I need to do is just draw a monster that's not high. Okay, good. Magical Melt will work. And send these two cards back to my deck. Which is great. And then I draw Ancient Rules. Of course. Of course. Okay. I just gotta keep monsters of his off the field. I think that's pretty much my my one goal at this point. 
Oh, good. Now he's gonna destroy my mirror force. Great. What a waste. Oh, hey, my turn. Beautiful. Oh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Too bad I can't summon you. I should probably take Sorcerer of Dark Magic out, because I'm never actually probably gonna summon him. There's really no point at this point with the cards that I use, so I might as well probably take him out and replace him with a more useful card. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Ancient Rules Red Eyes to the field. Alright, time to win this. Yeah, GG, Vector. GG. Impossible, how could I lose to you? Wow, that was short and sweet. Uh, New World Campaign Duel, Clash of the Empires Reverse. Admiration of the Thousands deck recipe. Insectors, Ori Kalkos challenge deck. Chaos Chimera, Tardy Orc, Rank Up Magic, Admiration of the Thousands, and 1700 Victory Duel Points. Alright, New World time. Who is, who is this? Who is dueling in this? It's uh, Don Thousand. With Vector defeated, Don Thousand returned to gain his power. You meaningless flea. Did you honestly believe that boundless power I allowed you to wield was yours to have forever? Know this, what I would have given to you, I can also take away. No, Vector. Ah, my power has returned to me. You won't have it for long, and that's a promise. One you cannot keep. I will consume you as I have consumed so many before you. For everyone I ever, I've ever known, I'll fight to the very end. Ready? Yes. Ultimate Zexel Morph, let's go. What the heck? Ultimate Ze- we're morphing now. What are, what are we, like Digimon out here? Like, what is this? Or more from like frickin' Digimon or like Transformers. Like, what are we doing? What kind of wizardry is this? Yeah, hey, one. You never win those when you when you stay as uh, as what it starts you at. But I guess I won that one. Dude, why do these trains sound like they're about to come through my window? They are so loud. I don't even get it. Okay. Um, let's do this. Gaga ga, ga, Gardena. Now I can play Kage to Kage. I forget who used Kage to Kage. Did someone use that? I feel like someone used that in the anime. Sky Pegasus. Uh, I'm just gonna go Utopia. I'm just gonna go classic Utopia. Probably could have gone Sky Pegasus there, but you can drop night. You can drop 1,900 attack point monsters pretty easily, so I'm not gonna I think I'm gonna worry about that. All right, let's attack. All right, Don Thousand, your move now. See what you answer with. With being able to exceed summon pretty easily in one turn, it's kind of fun playing these as well because it's like, oh, well this dude's gonna answer right back. Okay, not yet. Yep, now I'm gonna activate it. Okay, discard that and send that card back to the top of your deck. Don the... the heck? What? What is that BS? The cheese is real. Don Thousand's trying to cheese me. No. Oh, battling Boxer Veil. Okay, well, I guess I'll end my turn. Is this really, is his whole little strategy here just all about how many life points he can build up? Is he like that douchey... I don't even know what I'm thinking of. What, what, what game was it? Or what duel was that? Was that Joey versus Evil when Weevil was just all about, let me get this unlimited amount of life points like a douchebag? I think it was. What's going on? Yeah, we're called the haunting something back. Yeah. I'm bringing back Gaga Gardena. 
What is going on, dude? Well, um, I think I just got hit with that hot GG. That's good. That's great. Yep. Yep. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wave the white flag. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat these duels. I don't know, a burden of the mighty, and that's not a bad card. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with the reg decks. Because I suck at this whole Exceed Summon crap. I don't know when I'm supposed to play what and when. All I know, all I know is that I play... I like to play with older cards because it doesn't involve all this Exceed Summoning and... Oh, beautiful hand. Thank you! The, uh, the Sorcerer Dark Magic is really not that beautiful, but I'll take him. Alright, here we go. Pot of Greed. Eh, not, not bad. Not bad. Not bad, okay. Okay, I'm gonna guess at this one. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, yes. I hit the mirror force. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hit that mirror force. Fire hand. Yay, and he gets to play ice hand. I don't care. Play all the monsters you want. I have Raigeki. I have my Raigeki. Oh, and now he's playing cards face down. More magic and trap cards. Yeah, I can do that too, buddy. I can play this game. Yeah, and I can set a monster in defense mode too. What of it? What are we doing here? I can play whatever game you want to play, Don Thousand. Whatever you want to do. I got you. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay. Okay. I I see I see you. I see you, Don Thousand, and I I'm gonna raise you a Raiyeki. Oh, he's overlaying. That's cute. That is cute, Don Thousand. Are you gonna chaos six Ds into uh, your uh, Ragna Ragnafinity? Is that the next step in your master plan? Oh, beautiful! Thanks for the graceful charity game. Uh, and then thanks for a bunch of stuff I didn't want. Um, let's do that. Yes. I want an MST, whatever this is. Oh, rush recklessly. That's cute. Little, little did you know, Don Thousand. I have Raigeki. Let's get that crap off my field. Give me my Dark Magician. Ah, uh, yeah. This is good. I'm out of cards in my hand, though. Okay, time to, uh... I've got a lot of stuff protecting my Dark Magician and me, so I'm okay with this. Aw, poor Don Thousand. Poor buddy. Oh, Aw, poor. Poor fella. Poor fella, you just got BLS dropped on you. Poor fella. That's the GG. I don't think I've dropped BLS on anybody. I don't think I have. But that's how, that was it. Right there. That hot, that swift GG. We did it. We beat Don Thousand. How absurd. I can't believe I lost. Trust me, you didn't lose to Yuma. You lost to me. Because Yuma's deck is some trash. Well, you better believe it. We stopped your evil dreams and gave you a rude awakening. You may have defeated me, but the destruction of your worlds is still in the cards. You have merely vanquished my body, not my spirit. While my dark energy lives on, I assure you that you will not. Shark! Yuma and Astral, the battle isn't over. In fact, it hasn't even begun. The Battle of Three Worlds. Reverse Duel. 
Deck Avatar Down Thousand, the Chaos Throne Deck Recipe, Void of the Infernally Challenge Deck, Down Thousand's Throne. It's kind of cool they got his own card, like that Prominence Hand, Rhapsody, and Berserk, and some Victory Duel Points. Alright, here we go, Battle of Three Worlds. I don't, oh, guess because Astral counts as his own world. Shark. Shut, Yuma, his name is not Shark, his name is Nash. Don Thousand's power still remains. It's also pulling our worlds into a colliding course with Astral World. If our three worlds collide, Astral World will be destroyed. But since we defeated Don Thousand, his power should be gone. It's not, because I inherited Don Thousand's energies. What, you absorbed Don Thousand's power? You forget that I'm a Baryan. Baryan World and Astral World are sworn enemies, locked in a war with each other. So if you want to save Astral World, you'll have to defeat me. But Shark, I don't want to fight a fr Oh my gosh, wrong. We are not friends, not as long as you take Astral's side. There's got to be some way that we can work this out, please. There isn't. For once, Shark and I agree. Our worlds cannot mutually exist. We must do battle. Now, let's find out which one of our worlds will survive. Well, is, does this affect Earth? Do I have to fight? Um, if just Astral World gets destroyed, maybe we can uh, we can talk this over, Nash. Maybe I might help you. See, Yuma's just an idiot. I, I'm I'm just I'm just thinking logically here. If you know, if I help Nash and my world doesn't get destroyed, Astral can just live with me. Okay. Let's do this. I almost just want to use my deck. I don't even really want to use Yuma's deck. I hate Yuma's deck with a passion. Utopia. I don't even get what rank up magic does. Like, I, I, I don't know what it does. Let's play one for fun. I don't even know what it does. Uh, Utopia Beyond. I don't know what this is, but we're going to play it. Okay, Utopia Beyond. Okay, new card, I guess. Okay. Um... Of all monsters, summon the attack da, 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 da. during either player's turn. You can one face a new control and one utopia monster in your graveyard. Banish the first target, and if you do special summon the second target, then gain 1250 life points. Okay, of course. Really? 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 <sighs> you douche. You douchebag. Eh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and attack me. I don't care. Oh, you're gonna overlay. That's cute. Your stupid Ragna Zero. That's cute that you, br you brought that out. Now you can bring out your Ragna Infinity? No. Alright. Can I play Soul Charge now? Can I play Soul Charge? Sure, I don't know what the effect of it in my grave is, but sure. Oh, I can add it back to my hand. Oh. Why can't I use this? Um, why can't I use this? Why can't I use Soul- I'm gonna lose because I can't play Soul Charge. Okay, well, that was- this is stupid. I don't know why I can't play Soul Charge. Okay, whoopie do. That was the quick. That was the quick giving up on Yuma's deck when I can't use the card that I want to. I don't know what went wrong there. There's probably a simple explanation, but I'm just too stupid to realize what it was. But I don't really know what it was, unless it's because I activated Astral. That stupid rank up magic card that. I hate now. Um. Hmm. Okay, not bad. 
Okay, not bad. Okay, time to play, uh... Which card do I want to destroy? Which card did I get? Mmm, that's not bad. I'll take that. Hit okay, Dark Magician time. Okay, I'm gonna activate Shard of Greed. I'm gonna play Magician's Valkyria. Alright. Nash. Let's do this. Oh, good. That card didn't have any effects. Alright, Nash. What you gonna do? Surface. Ah, oh, dang it. He's gonna get his overlay off. Actually, I don't know what he's doing. Alright, he's gonna destroy Magician's Valkyria. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was, uh... That was interesting. Oh, look, it's blue eyes. Okay, well, I'm just gonna attack. He doesn't have anything to stop my attacks. This is kind of funny. Alright, Nash, you gotta draw a monster here, buddy. Oh, he got one, of course. Oh, and he's bringing shock to puss. Oh, what is this do? What is this about to do to me? Oh, destroy my monster? Oh no, it attaches it. And now it's got zero attack. Good. Good thing I got Dark Magician for all my hand. I'll use this first. Oh, nice. Another Dark Magician girl. Say goodbye to that effect, and, um, let's just end this duel. I don't need to bring Dark Magician back. Ah, oh, the hot GG. My deck is on point against these guys. Shark, shark. I guess my long journey has come to an end. You have your whole entire future ahead of you, Yuma. I wish I was around to see it. Thanks for teaching me to feel the flow. You were great duelists, but even better friends. Shark, goodbye. With the tragic loss of Shark, Astral finally took possession of all 100 number cards. Yuma, we have finally accomplished our goal of gathering all 100 number cards. Their combined energies allow me to access to the Numeron Code, uh, the source of all creation throughout the universe. It gives me the power to rewrite both the future and the past which I shall use to fulfill my final mission. But I thought we finished our final mission. Wait, you don't mean... My mission to annihilate Barian World. I thought you were done with that nonsense. No, Barian World is the enemy of Astral World. It must be extinguished. Haven't you learned anything at all, Astral? You don't have to fight anymore. Your two worlds can be at peace. Peace may have been your goal. It is not mine. Mine remains the destruction of Barian World. Dream on, because that ain't happening. And how do you plan to stop me, Yuna? Do you dare to challenge me to a duel? You bet. You must realize the foolishness of your endeavor. Since I possess all the number cards, you cannot win. Do you still wish to duel? More than ever. Very well, but when I win, I will do more than destroy Barian World. I will use the Numeron Code to erase your memories. It will be as if we never met. Agreed? Agreed. Fine, we shall duel tonight at the courtyard where we first met. Astral turns into a little douche monkey here at the end. It's forever Zexel. Reverse duel, the battle of three worlds. Deck avatar Nash. Last berry and hope deck recipe. Silent honor dark. Skull Kraken. Butuniful. Butuniful? Butuniful? Princess. And victory duel points. Alright, here we go. Forever Zexel. Let's do this. Let us begin. Ready? Always, time for me to high-five this guy. Alright, let's do this. I almost feel like I have to beat this duel with Yuma's deck. So, do I not have any... Am I just, like, stuck with Yuma's crappy deck without anything that I can, uh... Exceed? <laughs> I think I am. Uh, no. Oh, gosh. Scissors. Yeah! At least I'll get to go second. Let's do this. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna need the luck. I'm gonna need the luck. Oh, not not bad at all. Beautiful. Beautiful, thank you, base guy. Thank you, base god. Ah, we still get Gaga Ga, Ga Cowboy. 
What is this? Graveyard, add up to two of these monsters. Oh, okay. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna bring Go 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 Golem. Go 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 Golem. And Ga Ga Ga. Oh no, should I bring Zubaba Knight? Let's bring Zubaba Knight. Um. You know what? I have a different strat. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give this a go. It's 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 some it's some it's some risky business. Return this. I think I I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Hopefully. Actually, I never know if I know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, what number card is he about to drop on me? What is it? What is it? Oh, Sharp Drake. Yeah, do your damage, whatever. My turn. Oh, beautiful. Is this only when it's normal summoned? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, it's time to do this, though. Go into the Goblinburg. Chain it with Kage to Kage. Attack position. Subaba Knight. Time to overlay into Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy. Attack equal to its original defense. Wow, this is wow, wow. This sh this card is good. Magnum Shield. Give that to Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy. Hell to the yeah. Let's do this. I got Astral Dead to rights right now. Twenty five hundred life points is all he's got left. I traded 2,800. I took 2,800 damage so that he could take... Um, what is that? 4, 5, 5,500. He's overlaying, dude. Oh, he's going into Utopia. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute, Astral. Way to summon my card. Um, in a predicament now. Um, how many go go goes do I have in my graveyard? Just one? Yeah, I just have one go go go. Okay, drop this dude. Alright, time to go into Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. Drop in into attack mode. Activate his effect. Send go 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 giant. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, okay, okay. Alright. There we go. Now, he should destroy my Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, which is fine. And then I should be able to drop. Should be able to drop my Go 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 Giant. And GG him. Okay, never mind. He's about to drop another Utopia on me. Great. Just wonderful, dude. Just, just freaking amazing. Here we go, Utopia round two. What is he? Oh, he's going for that Chaos Exceed. 
I see. I see how I see how you want to play this. I see how you want to play this. Do that. Okay, go 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 giant. Bring back another go 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 giant. Alex sees into ga 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 cowboy. Alright, if this doesn't work, if what I'm doing right now doesn't work, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose pretty fast. Gotta make him get rid of his overlays. Oh, he didn't use it. He let me destroy it. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm surprised he let me do that. Gene Warped Werewolf. Pinpoint guard. I'll, uh, I'll take my go, go, go giant. Alright, here we go. I gotta have to draw the century. Oh, I got Kage to Kage. Okay, you're gonna have to use, yep, there's the last one gone. I need to draw any monster, I think, or does it have to be level 4? It's gotta be level 4. Gotta draw a level 4 monster. He's gonna bring out another- I'm sick of him bringing out Utopia. Stop bringing out Utopia. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking Utopia after Utopia after Utopia. This is ridiculous. What, what do you think he's gonna do with Utopia in attack mode? the heck does he think he's gonna do? Thank you. Thank you, game. This is what makes me know that you love me. Now say goodbye to your last Utopia. You are now out of Utopia. And you now lose the duel. Let's go! Beat him with Yuma's deck! Let's go! Nicely done, Yuma. Thanks, pal. I knew you were never planning on destroying Baryon World. You just wanted to remind me how fun dueling was, is. It is time for us to part. I must go home to Astro World. I know. Don't worry, I won't cry. I've always enjoyed seeing you, your smile. Thanks, Astro. Thanks for everything. We're friends forever. Likewise, Yuma. Friends until the end of time. The next day, Yuma saw all of his friends at school. Everything was back to normal except, of course, Astro was not there. Astro used the Numeron code to bring back all the Baryan Emperors as humans. Yep, things are back to normal. Everything's just like it was. Except one thing, Astro. Huh? Why is my golden key glowing? Yuma, what are you doing here? We've detected a dimensional anomaly in Astral World. There's something out there that wants your buddy's home to go bye-bye. Astral's in trouble? Yeah, Astral's totally needs our help. Then let's go help him. You don't have to feel scared or alone, Astral, because we're feeling the flow. Forever Zexal Reverse Duel, Astral Deck Avatar, there it is. High five the sky. Achievement unlocked. Astral Force deck recipe. Utopia Force challenge deck. Utopia. Utopia. Utopia roots signature card. Utopia Beyond new card. Uh, Utopic Dragon new card and victory dual points earned. All right, so that's Zexel. That is all the campaigns completed, at least the initial ones. We will be going back and doing the uh, the reverse duels, obviously, but. Not yet. Um, I'll probably end up doing them later, maybe around Christmas or something. I don't know. Um, I don't. It, it may. It might be sooner. Who knows? Who knows? I might just put them out whenever I feel like it. Um, though we're not done, we still have to do the pendulum duel, as well as um, I want to do that pack opening. Uh, the we're gonna have t probably three 50k pack openings. And then I also want to do a battle pack, a sealed play, and then we'll do a draft play probably in one episode. Uh, but uh, we might do a multiplayer, but I gotta get a deck that I can use a multiplayer. But uh, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.